Welcome back to another video on the channel and today I'm going to be showing you how to record internal audio from your Mac or MacBook computer. So if you're using QuickTime Player to screen record and you want to record both your own voice as well as audio coming from inside of your computer, let's say you are doing game commentary or reacting to a YouTube video or anything that requires recording internal audio, then this is the tutorial for you. So the first step is going to be downloading Soundflower and Soundflower is the application that's going to allow you to record audio, internal audio from your computer. Um, it's completely free, it's completely safe, and I'll leave a link in the description below for you to access that download file. But if you head over to fluxforge.com and onto this website, just click on the Soundflower zip file and then go to downloads and open up the Soundflower folder and this window is going to pop up. Just double click on soundflower.pkg and then just press continue, install and just agree to the terms and conditions. Once you've downloaded the Soundflower application, the next step is to open up audio setup. To do that, either press command space or go up here to the search icon and in the spacebar, you want to type in audio MIDI setup. And in audio devices, you should see that there's already two audio devices called Soundflower, and one's the two channel, and the other is the 64 channel. And what we want to do now is create two new audio devices, one aggregate device called QuickTime Audio Input, and another called uh, another multi-output device called Screen Record with Audio. So how do we create these two devices? To do that, you're gonna go down here to the bottom left and click on the plus sign and press first, we'll create the aggregate device. So click on aggregate device and you can rename it to anything you want. Um, I prefer QuickTime Audio Input. And then you wanna create a multi-output device. So the second option and Again, you can rename it to whatever you want. I'm going to name it to uh, screen record with audio. And now we're not done here. Now we have to adjust the audio devices in these um, channels. So go to your aggregate device uh, called QuickTime Audio Input, and you want to check off the MacBook microphone. So what are, whatever default input microphone you have here um, that's on your computer. And then you also want to check off Soundflower 2 channel. Make sure it's the 2CH, not, to, not the 64CH. And then you want to do kind of the same thing for the multi-output device. You want to have your default speakers uh, checked off. So mine are the MacBook Pro speakers. And you also want to have the Soundflower 2CH um, checked off. All right, so now we should have these two new audio devices that we created, and there is one final step before we can fully screen record with internal audio. And that step is to change the system settings so that it is configured to this new uh, audio devices that we just created. So go over to System Preferences, and then click on Sound. And now every time before you screen record with QuickTime Player, make sure that under output, you have selected screen record with audio. If this aggregate device is not selected, you won't be able to screen record with internal audio. And then when you're done screen recording, you can just go back to MacBook speakers. So make sure screen record with audio aggregate device is selected. So now you can go over to uh, QuickTime Player. So um, go QuickTime Player and then uh, File New Screen Recording. I'm actually screen recording with QuickTime Player right now, so I'm gonna click on New Audio Recording. But what I wanna show you is um, make sure that your input device is changed to the new one that we just created. So go over to the Options or drop down menu and make sure your microphone is selected to QuickTime Audio Input. Not um, any external microphone or not the MacBook microphone, make sure it's QuickTime Audio Input. So again, the two steps are go to System Settings, 
and change your output device to screen record with audio. And then in uh, your QuickTime settings, make sure that your microphone is switched to QuickTime audio input. And once these two devices are configured, um, you can go ahead and screen record and you'll notice that you can record both internal audio as well as your voice simultaneously. All right, that's it for the video today. Thank you so much for sticking all the way to the end. And if you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. If there's any specific videos that you want to see in the future, make sure to leave it in the comments down below. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.